In today's video, we are here in the new workshop, you guys. We've got the Ram, we've got the Helcota, we've got the SRT10, and we have the Viper all here in the shop. But today, we are working on our Ram 1500, our tradesman model that had like no options. So we're gonna be installing the rear view mirror that has all the sensors in it for our Uconnect. That way we have the microphones. Let me flip this around and show you guys. All right, so here we have the Ram 1500. This is the Tradesman Express Edition. I don't know if it's an edition, but trim level. And if you guys do or don't know, when we purchased this, it had the really, really basic uh, stereo in it. And it didn't even have Bluetooth or nothing. So a subscriber ended up hooking us up with this. Um, he took it out of his truck and he put like that fancy Tesla style in his but I ended up picking it up because it has Bluetooth on it. And, but the thing is like the stereo, like the sound comes out of the speakers, but you don't have a microphone. So you can do hands-free calling, but nobody can hear you. So obviously that's not good. So what I ended up doing was I picked up a mirror and I'll put the part number uh, for you guys down in the description below. So you guys can, you know, purchase it if you guys are interested in doing this sort of thing. So you'll see here, I don't even have the overhead console, which we may do as well at some point, but I was just trying to get uh, the most essential stuff out of the way first. So what you're gonna see here is the mirror mount. So it's got this strange style mount on it and you essentially take it and you turn it counterclockwise for it to come off. I had to use quite a bit of force turning it counterclockwise for it to be removed, but that's how you do it. That's how I saw everybody else do it. And that's how I got it off. So a lot of people show you this process um, with the new mirror already on. The only video I could find was somebody already had the new mirror mounted. And he was just like, hey, this is how I did this. But I'm going to show you guys step by step. I haven't removed anything. We're going to take off our visors as well so that we can get the headliner down a little bit. We're going to have to take off this trim here. And ultimately, it's going to plug into a plug that's sitting here waiting to be plugged in for us behind here. So here's the old mirror. And like I mentioned, it's just super basic. It's got no functionality to it. And it's got these three little claws that you'll see here. And literally, you're just going to rotate this counterclockwise and it pops off. And then the new mirror, and I got the full wiring assembly. This is a used mirror that I found. I got super lucky on this, you guys. These things are not exactly cheap. But you'll see it's got the same mechanism here, but it's got this whole big ass thing. It's got all sorts of sensors on it, um, you know, for auto dim headlights, uh, you know, or sorry, automatic, you know, high beams, um, you know, rain sensing. It's got everything in here. So important part for us is the microphone. So it's got a microphone here and here. And I know some guys are going to ask, so I'll just mention it. So the microphones are mounted on the mirror. Um, up to 2016, I believe. I think it's in 2018, they started putting them in the headliner. So double check your year. Um, but this one, obviously they're in the mirror here, which in my opinion makes this an easier install rather than having to cut holes in our headliner. But you can see it's got the plug here. So I got the whole harness, we got the mirror. So let's go ahead and get straight to work. So as far as tools that we need, we're gonna need a 10 mil, an eight mil, a T20 and a little screwdriver. So you need a little screwdriver. So you can pop these guys out so you can open up these and then there's a 10 mil underneath there on both of these so that can come off over here if you guys can see in there those are eight mil so there's two of these and then right here there's a t20 torx so i'll go ahead or remove that um not sure if we'll have to remove it on this side to pull the whole headline down i'll take this stuff off first try to do as minimal stuff as possible of course so that it's less work um as long as we don't you know damage the headliner by any means but let me get that stuff off you guys know how to take that off and then we'll see where we're at all right so let's take the screw out there you go that comes out that comes out and then this here the two tens are out so we should be able to just give it a little tug and that comes off we can put that off and out of our way and then we're gonna end up routing this through here we gotta pop this panel off now. So just get something behind here. You might have to use a couple hands, but try to use something. Like I'm not applying a ton of force. If for some reason yours, you know, is really stiff to get off, definitely use something that's not gonna mark up your plastics, but mine came out pretty easy. Okay, once we pop this out, we can pull this out from behind the rubber and you can see here, here's the plug that we're gonna be plugging this into. It's just sitting here ready to go. So now we can go ahead, let's see if we have enough room. Are we gonna have enough room to tuck this back here? Yeah, it's not terrible. I could see, oh, actually, let's see. I 
think we should have enough room. It just depends where we want to put our clips. Let me mess with it. First up, let's get the mirror mounted and then we can see. I might, might take those other clips out just so we don't kink our headliner. Probably would be a smart idea, honestly. Okay, so I just popped off the same thing on the other side. It honestly took like an extra two minutes, you guys. So, um, and just the other thing to mention too is maybe if you had a, you know, four door truck, it wouldn't be so bad because, you know, your headliner would be longer. But with having just a two door and having the short headliner, it just gives you a lot more room to get up and behind here so that we can clip our wiring harness in. So you can see here. We'll be able to clip this in and it looks like these clips will go into uh, the actual body and it's got these extra clips which i'm guessing is to do with the wire that's already there if you can see so it's probably to hold this wire here if i had to assume i'm guessing it probably holds this in place instead so anyways let's go ahead and let's throw the mirror on all right, so this is the part where you got to get this mirror on here. And I've kind of got the mirror turned a certain way to clear the headliner. But you can see here I have the base of it turned like counterclockwise because we're going to rotate it clockwise. So you get it up here and you get your post on there. It's kind of a weird unit to center up. But there, so once it falls down and then we're going to rotate it like this in there once you get it in place that's it so she's sitting on here the way she should but yeah you're gonna rotate like that until everything is straight so now we got the big box on here we're good now we can figure out where to put our little push pins and start dressing this in all right so you guys are gonna notice that all these little clips they do line up with all these ones. So I'll show you guys which ones I pop out. And then you're gonna see that this harness right here where my thumb is, it's got a little clip right here in the opening of my thumb. And that holds this wire here. So instead of being fastened with that, it's gonna be held on to this wire with this little clasp. So I'm gonna use this clip tool, pop those ones out and then pop these in. And if you guys don't have one of these clip tools, I highly recommend it. I'll link it down in the description below because I didn't have one of these for years. And now that I do, this thing is like a game changer as far as removing these Christmas tree clips. Okay, so we got most of it run and then you can pretty much tell the spacing of which one goes there. You see this flat one? We're gonna pop this flat one out and put it there in its place. And we're just hooking it on along. So you're hooking your little antenna wire along this harness as you go along. You could remove these little Christmas tree clips off your antenna wire, but it's not exactly crucial. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this one on here and we'll keep working our way down. Okay, so everything is clipped all the way down through here, runs down around and plugs into this connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the headliner back up. You guys already know the deal, the reverse steps. We'll put in our sun visors, put in the A-pillar covers, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and test this thing out and see if any programming is required. You will notice this little sensor here. I'm missing a little cover that I'm gonna have to purchase. And this thing normally goes right here and there's a little extra like square box. For now, I'm just gonna tuck it behind the headliner though. Okay, so we got everything there all done. Everything's tight. So over here, I haven't quite clicked this in. So you're gonna see a red locking tab. We're gonna push this in till we hear it click and make sure she's secure and then i can go ahead and we'll put the panel back in okay so we haven't touched any settings with alpha obd everything's plugged in let's see if we can make a phone call and if the other person can hear us all right let's call jonathan see if this fool answers let's see if he can hear us if he answers yo what up man yo okay so i was actually able to successfully make a phone call and Jonathan was able to hear me and my GoPro ended up cutting out. So you guys barely heard that conversation take place, but we were joking about a bunch of stuff, but yeah, he was able to hear me no problem loud and clear. And I did not touch any settings with alpha OBD. So a couple quick things. Um, there's some additional buttons here. I pushed the assist button, but nothing seems to happen. I don't know if we need to wait till we do the 8.4 U connect conversion, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Also, you guys, I know there's probably some guys that are going to mention, hey, you know, why don't you enable the automatic high beams or the automatic wipers or any of that stuff? 
Um, I'm not really a fan of either of those features. I have them on my Laramie, but I don't even have them activated. Um, I'll keep you guys posted if the automatic mirror, like the dimming works. I know on my 8.4, there's a feature like a button you have to push to turn on or off the automatic uh, dimming rear view. But we are going to be doing the 8.4. Um, I already have most of the stuff. I've got the bezel. I've got the actual head unit. Only thing I need is the harness and I need the climate module. So those two things I'm still waiting on, but we'll be doing that shortly. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I will link the parts down in the description below where you guys can grab that stuff if you're trying to do something like this. We've got a lot more videos on the way. I'll be doing more alpha OBD stuff to enable some features as well. Along with the Uconnect, the 8.4 will be installing on this and a bunch of other features. So if you guys are new to the channel, check out the other videos we already have, hit the subscribe button. Finally back in the shop, you guys, I'm able to have a little bit more energy in the video. Last few videos, I don't know if you could tell, but I was completely drained from doing all the move and stuff. But I'm glad to finally be settling in. Lots of content on the way. We'll catch you guys on the next video.